I call the Honourable the Leader of the Opposition to support the remarks of the Prime Minister. Madam Speaker, <clears throat> on this historic day, let me first acknowledge the traditional owners of the land, the first lawgivers of our nation, and pay my respects to their elders past and present. Prime Minister Abe, on behalf of the Opposition, it is my great privilege to join with the Prime Minister in welcoming you and your wife, Mrs Abe, to our parliament and our nation. You honour all of us with your presence here today. There is so much that our two countries share—faith in democracy, deep respect for the rule of law, cooperation in peacekeeping missions, global leadership and nuclear non-proliferation. And I acknowledge today the work of our former foreign ministers, Eureka Kalguchi and Gareth Evans. And we share a steadfast commitment to a stable, prosperous and peaceful Asia-Pacific. For more than a century, Japanese demand for Australian resources has helped build our nation's shared prosperity. Japan is an investor as well as a customer, a true trading partner. For more than 50 years, Japanese investment has driven the development of northern Australia, from the iron ore fields of the Pilbara to the northwest shelf and the Darwin liquid natural gas to the coal mines in our east. And Japan has long been much more to Australia than a leader in technological innovation or a market for our resources. We have traded and shared our values and our ideas too. Australia's arts and our architecture, our food and philosophy, even the way we do business, has been enhanced and enriched by the Japanese. All Australians are grateful for these gifts. We celebrate this diversity. We understand that it helps us gain and grow and learn. For as the Japanese saying goes, Junin to iro, ten people, ten colours. In embracing our differences, we are stronger, and ours is a friendship that shares hardship. When Fukushima was devastated by earthquake and tsunami in 2011, Australian hearts went out to our friends in Japan. Within days, Australian search and rescue personnel, defence operation response officers, three C-17 aircraft were on the scene helping with the clean-up, the search and the rescue effort. They were soon followed by donations and contributions from hundreds of thousands of ordinary Australians. Prime Minister Gillard was the first world leader to visit the region following the disaster and personally convey our condolences for your loss and our admiration for your resilience. In those tough times, Australia was indeed proud to stand by our friend. We gave our help gladly, knowing that Japan would not hesitate to respond with the same speed and generosity. This understanding, this respect and care for each other's welfare lies at the heart of our friendship. A friendship that runs deeper than treaties or trade agreements, summits or state dinners. A friendship built on the open-hearted generosity and the wisdom of our two peoples. It has long been this way. Three years after your grandfather's term as Prime Minister, Yamoto Takata City and the town of Lismore in northern New South Wales became sister cities, the first such partnership between Australia and Japan. Today, 109 communities across our nation and yours share this bond, joined together in the spirit of friendship, of understanding, of learning from one another. People from our two nations building personal connections through the student exchanges, the cultural exchanges, the local government visits. Friendships flourishing through the email and the Skype, the long-planned catch-ups. Be it Bundaberg and Setsu City, Inakawa Town and Ballarat, Geraldton and Kosai City, and of course your ancient capital, Nara, and our capital, Canberra. Every year in the Canberra-Nara Peace Park, a patch of Japanese maples and cherry blossoms amongst the gum trees, Australians and Japanese people gather together for a festival. Surrounded by Japanese sculpture, 
accompanied by Japanese music, delighting in Japanese food. Festival goers light 2,000 candles in celebration of peace and friendship. In that spirit, by those lights, today we say to you that Japan will always have a friend in Australia, a partner in prosperity and a partner in peace. Prime Minister Abe, you are most welcome in Australia, and the people of Japan always will be. Yeah.